this your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So did you guys see that 2 Chainz is saying that he's pretty serious about running for mayor for College Park? And you know what? Can he win? Maybe if he's serious about it, man, but you gotta be just as serious about running for mayor as he was to become a success in the music industry. But if there's anything that the TV show The Wire has taught us, the mayors really just can't do much of shit to help out somewhere that's really in need. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that Chevy Woods Gangland 3. And you know what? I'm a fan of Chevy Woods and such, man, and I like a bunch of the projects that he put out. I like the first two Ganglands. I like a bunch of his other joints, too, like that cookout joint. But here's one main concept that people need to grasp. Fuck the title of the damn project, you dig? You only focus on the music. Because I see this all too often. Like, a lot of people be like, okay, the first two Ganglands was pretty damn dope, so this one should be dope, too doesn't work like that. Just like how a lot of people saying that that Carter 5 is going to be dope because they enjoyed what, maybe the Carter 1, 2, or 3, but it doesn't fucking work like that, man. See, musicians don't segment the music like that, man. I mean, sure, the music industry does, like, that's why albums tend to be worse than fucking mixtapes, but how all this work is they do the best songs that they can and put it towards the one project that they're working on. They don't intentionally make some bullshit, and then once they start making some pretty decent songs say, oh, I'ma put this towards the Carter 5. There's no on and off switch for this shit. You have to follow the artist, man. Hear the new music that they're leaking for the next project, man. And gather a good understanding on if this latest project would be any damn good. And which leading up to this gangland, man, there was not one single song that I could point out and say, you know what, that shit is dope. It got me excited about this Chevy Woods project. Not at all, man. And as I listened to it, Mixtape wasn't that damn good. I mean, there was some solid joints on it. I mean, that like Gold Chains and Gold Dayton's was pretty cool. Get to Know was I too, but my favorite song off this entire project was that For the Money, which just happened to be the fucking outro. I mean, Chevy Woods set such a high damn standard for himself, man, that this really isn't very impressive at all of a project. But I still recommend people to go ahead and peep it out, man, even though I give it a 6 out of 10. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about being ready. Because a lot of rappers who claim that they want to see the success in the music industry, they're not fucking ready for this shit. You're really not ready for the pressures that are brought on to you by this damn game. How you can lose a career that you put in 15, 20 years to get over fucking night because you made some flawed decisions signing with the wrong people. Now what is being ready in this game? Being ready is understanding this fucking game. How many people out there actually understand how contracts work? How people get paid? How roles Loyalties actually work. How much of that aspect of this game do you understand? But yet, it is part of the game that is a mu- The only things that really get you prepared for the day in and day out struggle that you're going to have as an artist is the stay in and day out struggle of being underground independent. Which a lot of people don't want to do that. They want overnight, quick ass success, which isn't going to bring you much. If you're not ready for this game by the time that your number is called, man, then you're going to fuck it up. Guaranteed, and you're going to be back at ground zero with absolutely nothing. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.